he starts the same thing, and I'm like, and I'm getting good at it because it it happens to me now like uh, four or five times a week. He comes up and says, you know, you did that. I saw that video you did about proselytizing, and how uh, uh, if someone believes that you're going to go to hell, how much would they have to hate you to not uh, to, to not help you out, you know? Um, and he's going to go into his, can I talk to you a little bit about Jesus? And he said because I'm, I'm at this retreat, this church retreat for evangelical Christians, and they showed the video there. So I say to him, well, thank you. He said, it was a really good video. I said, he said, very inspiring. It inspired me to, you know, uh, proselytize more. And I said, oh, okay, that wasn't the intent, you know. And he said, well, well yeah. And I go, oh, by the way, uh, how do you feel about the, uh, the legality and the morality of taking something that belongs to Sony and crackle and showing it in your church uh, without permission or did they get permission and he said oh I don't, I don't know anything about that do you mind uh, I mean does that bother you that we showed it I said well it's not mine I don't own it I sell the pen says to to Sony to crackle and they own it and how do you feel about it did you think about asking them since it belongs to somebody else and that kind of threw him off the whole Jesus thing. And then he says, you know, uh, I, I want to talk to you about Romans. And I said, oh, the thing about, you know, the, the cost of sin is death. And he went, yeah. And I go, well, you know, I've, I've read the Bible uh, a few times, and uh, I know a little bit about it. And you do know that I'm an atheist. And he said, yes, but I want to tell you that when my, uh, when my father left, uh, I just, I really kind of fell apart when I was a child. And I interrupted him and said, so you have a lack of love from your family and friends in your life. You don't have to fill that with an imaginary character. You don't have to fill that with this, this whole dogma. You could actually just find people that you love and will love you. I said, you're a, you're a young guy. You, you seem nice enough. You seem smart enough. I don't think you need this Jesus thing. I think you can find love without it, man. And I really, just looking at you, I just kind of I kind of dig you. And I think you're a fine guy and a really good man. And I don't think you need this fictitious craziness to get you through. You know, my problem with people who are religious is that I always feel really sorry for them because they don't have enough love from their family and from their friends and from the world that they feel dejected enough that they have to kind of make up this whole fantasy.